Hi, it's the Reverend Mike Mickey, Rector of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, thanking you for clicking on today's A Holy Lent video. Today, we're continuing on our teaching on prayer, one of the things that we're called to in the observance of a Holy Lent. Uh, yes, uh, Sunday, we talked about uh, what Christian prayer is. It's directed to the Father, through the Son, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how to pray. So many people get stuck and are intimidated about uh, starting a, and developing their prayer life because they just don't know how to do it. I've heard people say, hey, it feels like I'm talking to myself, or when I lay down to sleep at night and I start to pray, I always fall asleep, or I'm uncomfortable praying out loud. Is it okay just to pray silently? Some people say, I can only pray alone. I can never pray in groups. Some people say, I like to pray in groups. I can never pray alone. Listen. I want to tell you however and whenever you pray, pray. God always loves to hear from you, silently, aloud, uh, alone, or in groups. Start and commit to regular, though, times of prayer so that you can develop in, in your walk and relationship with God. Uh, I'm going to put below a link to the Mission St. Clair website. Uh, which is a, a website that you can use to pray morning prayer and evening prayer out of the Book of Common Prayer. And what's great about this little website is it has the, the lectionary scripture readings for the day. So if you want to commit like 15 or 20 minutes to both scripture reading and prayer, all you have to do is click along these links and it'll really, really help you, especially if you're the kind of person who needs uh, printed prayers for you to kind of help uh, your prayer life with God. But if you're there and you're saying, I just want to spend some time in the car praying, or if I'm beside a, uh, a, a outside on a park bench maybe, and I want to just talk to God, how do I organize it? How do I get that started? I want to give you a little acrostic with the word ACTS, A-C-T-S. Here's a nice way to organize your time of prayer with the Lord. First, adoration. Spend time reminding yourself of the greatness of God. See, God doesn't need you to tell him that he's awesome, that he's powerful, that he's wonderful and holy. He understands that, he knows. It's us that need to do that. We need to praise the Lord so that our faith is increased uh, and we are reminded of the greatness and awesomeness of God. C, confession. Remember what Father Andrew talked about last week? repentance, spend some time telling God the things you're sorry for and ask for his power to lead a new life. T, thanksgiving, list before God in the presence of God the things you're thankful for. Health, strength, family, friends, jobs, the things, all the things that God is doing in your life that you're grateful for, list for him and you'll be thankful and your faith will increase. Finally, S, supplication, then list before God the things that you're concerned about, the people, the ways uh, that you need his mercy, his help, both for yourself and for others. Uh, pray the daily office, spend some time doing this ACTS Acts across it, and whatever you do, develop your walk and relationship with God. He wants to hear from you. Thanks again for clicking, and remember, God loves you.